have craft update number nine. So to start out, I have this deluxe inside out wallet with mosaic, just peachy, and dark blue. It has two card pockets that are like, they're not as wide and then a hidden behind them, then two regular card pockets and a short, and then the other side has the same two regular card pockets and a short, and then there's a Ziploc coin pouch right here with expandables, and an ID. Then I have this Barbie accordion, which was a collab with Courtney's Crafts. I'll have everybody's name that I did a collab with or trade with down below and it was with fuchsia and black i really like how this one turned out the colors match perfectly next i have this deal with it um accordion with chrome and transparent green it's really cool because you can see through to what's inside the coin pouch because it's transparent now the only thing i don't like about this one is i tried a new way to cut the slits in the id I tried it going up instead of down and it kind of messed up. I had to tape over it with clear tape because it kept peeling up because there wasn't enough tape keeping it down as you can see. So it's covered in clear tape around because otherwise it kept coming up. And this was a trade, well it was a collab with Tapecraft Studio and then it was a trade with stuck to taping 000 because they um picked out my pre-made to trade. Next I have this gummy bears teal and gold accordion wallet. This was a collab with Creations by Adri and it was right before we decided to do the collab right before she won my giveaway for 600 followers on Instagram. I don't like how I put clear tape on the bottom of the coin pouch. I did a survey on Instagram and it's 50-50 right now of whether I should put the color in the inside or clear tape on the bottom. And it was going for the regular solid tape on the bottom instead of clear tape, but now it's going 50-50. This wallet is with Rue 21 pink lace, which I absolutely love. It's my favorite tape in the whole wide world and it's matched up which it really matched up well and it's with fuchsia and black and this was a trade with stuck to taping 000 she customized this herself next i have this woman's wallet with paris your sage and maroon it has five card pockets, an ID, a billfold right here, a billfold, a coin pouch, ziplock, and two expandable sections. The only thing I don't like about this wallet is that when you close it, the front, um, the letters and pictures are upside down because I put the backing on the opposite way because I wasn't thinking right because I'm stupid sometimes, brain fart. <laughs> so that kind of sucks that it looks like that, but next time I make a woman's wallet, I wrote a note to myself not to do that. Then I have this silver scroll woman's wallet with white and dusty lilac. It has four card pockets, an ID, a billfold. Ziploc coin pouch and two expandable sections, which is my now normal layout. There is one thing I don't like about it is the white is not on the bottom of the coin pouch, but that's about it. Otherwise, it came out perfect. And also, I made my woman's wallet shorter. They're only seven inches long now instead of eight and a half, which I used to do or sometimes eight, which was my original lengths, and then I changed it to eight and a half because I changed my bifolds to eight and a half inches long, and I don't know why I decided to make my woman's wallets the same length as my bifolds, but I just kept that going, and I 
it was really stupid because it wasted tape and it was kind of made the wallet too big and it doesn't need to be that big so I made it shorter now on to the smallets I have this layered squares or layered shapes it's a scotch tape and it has a bill fold with it's with teal and dark purple it was a collab with Courtney's crafts it has five card pockets and an ID also I'm pretty sure I said there are four card pockets on this but there's actually five card pockets and an ID just so you know then I have this small, it's with unicorns, and it has your sage and maroon as the color combo. The color combo doesn't match that well, but I still like it. And it has a billfold, five car pockets, and an ID, just like every one of my smallets. So I hope you guys like this one. It didn't match up though, which is disappointing. This wallet is a collab with Cam Wallets. It's the ghoul ghoul in the gang tape which has frankensteins and skulls ghosts and pumpkins on it it matched up as you can see and it's with neon green and dark purple Jay's wallet is the one who picked this color combo out for me to use and it's a really thin tape it's uh, off-brand really off-brand I actually don't know the brand of it um, but I got it from another taper, and the the tape is really thin, so it, I had to clear tape over everything to make sure it didn't rip easily. But it's with baby pink, or actually bubblegum pink, and neon green. And my bifolds all have five card pockets, an ID, two hiddens, and a billfold. The hiddens are right here. And this is also a trade with Stuck to Taping 000. She picked this as a pre-made. Finally, for the bifold wallets, I have this penguins, white glitter, and neon orange bifold wallet, and the billfold looks really nice, but I really don't like this one. I don't know why. I just hate it. The color combo looks, uh, it looks weird to me, but it's okay, but the all the card pockets on the left side are tilted down on this left part, and it just annoys me so much I can't get over it. Then the final wallet of this uh, craft update is this clutch wallet with this kind of Victorian flower tape. It's um, an Aldi tape. Work Zone is the brand that's on the uh, duct tape roll. And it's with Sub Trim. Maroon is the card pockets. Then the Sub Trim alternates on each side. So I have a sub trim of baby pink on the right and a trim of green on the right and then on the left it's green sub trim and baby pink trim there is five card pockets on the left side with an ID and six card pockets on the right with hiddens on both sides and bill folds on both sides so that's that thank you guys for watching this craft update I hope you liked it